Well, of course, now, one thing I should tell you, Mr. Corleone, the two bandits that done robbed me, well, I think they're going to try to come to your event tonight. Why is that? Well, because they held the gun to my head and they asked, what am I doing tonight? And I said, well, I'm hosting an event tonight. And they said, oh, well, we would love to come. They actually wanted free tickets. Would you believe that? So you told the guys that robbed you that you're hosting a fucking event tonight. And you let them know where you're going to be. Well, and, that's right. And they asked to come for free. And what did, what did you say, Mr. Flint? Well, I told him I had no tickets on me. <clears throat> Man, you could have said anything. You could have said you were going up north to go fucking hunting. You could have said you were going to a fucking bar. You could have fucking said anything. Well, that would fucking cool. I would be an honest man then, would I? Jesus fucking Christ. You think you are an honest man? Well, I never tell a lie, right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I leave you and Wu alone for a moment. And uh, when you're finished up, on a UA, come up on the stage. We'll do a little rehearsal. Well, now, the only thing I asked them, Mr. Corleone, well, and I tell you this with all sincerity, <laughs> see, they done roughed me up a little bit, and I'm afraid that, well, as much as I'd love some alone time with our good friend, Mr. Wu, I'm, <laughs> I'm afraid it might leave me in a state not uh, fit for uh, what I must do tonight. Smart. Right. right. I guess we're just going to have to find out. I'll be our friend. <laughs> oh, he's fighting back. <laughs> He's got a good punch. How'd the talk go? Here, it went well. Dude, imagine if we lost. He will need some help. Hey, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I love the role. Like, the Blouse character is actually so fucking good, too, man. It's like literally like an idiot kid. Hey, sometimes everybody's got to learn a little lesson, right? Yeah. Get you to the doctors. You're going to be all right for the night. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. The hell did you just say to me, mister? This used to be a what? You got a problem there, asshole? Well, I'll try this. So. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you good well, fight a woo or what? He can punch, but he is a child. I don't take pleasure in harming a child. Oh. Not with that $100 says. <laughs> <laughs> Uh...
<laughs> oh, dead. All right. So, Mr. Flint, these guys that uh, yeah. robbed you, yeah. what did they want with you, right? Just a casual robbery? I mean, what's going on? Did you do well, something just, to these men or what? Well, just a bandit. A lady right. and a man as I was coming into San Denis. Don't hold me up. <laughs> Oh my god, was it Marcus and Moxie? Hey, what did they sound like? What did they look like? Oh. Well, they was wearing all black with black bandanas on, and I don't particularly remember what they sounded like. They done shot the rifles at me, made me run. Jesus Christ. All right, well, if you see on the night, let me know. We'll get security to take care of them, all right? Well, if I can find myself a pistol before tonight, I'll take care of it myself. Yeah, hey, uh, man, it will. What you, uh, did he just say? Yeah, wait. What did what what did you just say? Well, I said if I find a pistol, I'll take care of it myself. You're going to kill another man. That is your intention. What? Well, they done took me for everything. And I would have been okay with it, except... Well, they took my pistol that I very much liked. See? So you're not only a liar and a cheater. You are also stupid. Well, stupid is all about perspective, Mr. Wu. All right, let's get you in here. It's gonna be all right, don't worry. Let me help you out here, pal. Does we regret shooting the guy at the dock? No. He regrets, Wu's regret right now is being uh, just sloppy as fuck with the other guy that he strangled. If you're other Cesar said never shooting St. Denise. Um, yes, but Wu is... He made a decision based on wanting to be like Sonny, right? Wu, Wu admires both the brothers, but uh, he really looks up to Sonny because Sonny reminds him of... Uh, I like the violence that Wu has. And it shows him like being a violent man can get you what you want. But I like the interesting dynamic is he's being pretty much mentored by two different people. Obviously, Cesar is teaching Wu how to just be smart and not always violent, right? So it really depends on who he ends up hanging out with more and learning from more. It's kind of like the guy that Wu will become. <laughs> 